Hi everyone, thank you for joining. A broken teacup, filling the cracks with mindfulness, essentialism, and self-care. I'll take a few minutes to celebrate all of you that have been instrumental in changing my life and then tell you a little bit about why I wrote this book. My reflection and journey from stress and anxiety to finding my pursuit of happiness to focus on what truly matters. Thank you to all of you on this list. Each of you have touched my life in meaningful ways and have also shaped this book. I'm privileged and grateful for all the stories that you have shared and it's definitely comforting to know that we are in this together. Doesn't matter if we're all around the world, we're in this together and we're not alone. Thank you, everybody. A big thank you to folks who were able to join yesterday to celebrate this moment and capture this moment in time. This book is dedicated to my tribe, Mi Familia Miente, my family and true friends who believed in me in all assets of life even if I wasn't sure of myself. So thank you for being my guiding light. This book is for the dreamers, the explorers, who are not okay with the expectations to fit in a box. So I'm creating my own world where I belong, and I invite each of you to be the change you want to see in the world. There are two beautiful concepts that drove to the writing for this book. The first is Wabi Sabi, and the second is Kintsuki. The book cover has a beautiful story to tell. When I finished writing the book, I started looking for how do I want to tell my story. And so I had this image of a broken teacup and I wanted to find a humanized way for it. And magically from the universe, an artist actually posted the image that's part of my book cover as an illustration on Unsplash. So I'm truly grateful for Timon to share this beautiful um visual with me. And also when I think about Kintsugi, it's the art of bringing those broken pottery pieces together and making it much more beautiful than it was and much more valuable. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to appreciate the little joys, embrace the flaws and setbacks in everyday life. And Wabi Sabi is the acceptance of transience and imperfection. I am learning that today, is the only moment that matters. And so thank you so much for part, being part of this for me. If you ask me why did I write this book, there were a few things that happened over the past two years. And I encourage each of you to be part of this journey because you have changed how I look at things. You have changed my story from nonstop worry, anxiety, and stress to a world of mindfulness, essentialism, and self-care to focus on what matters. Whether it's bibliography therapy, one day at a time, cognitive behavior therapy, I know that as organizations, we can all do our part to reduce the stress and anxiety, to reduce the brain burnout, and set the right boundaries and the balance. So I have opened my heart, mind, and soul to the flow of the universe, and I'm amazed by all the amazing people that I've met in this over time. So join me in uncovering the biggest strength in each other and being the rock when everything around us is falling apart. This is a much bigger calling than all of me and it's inspiring me to share my story and bring hope and joy to everybody around. So let's go through a few chapters in the book to give you a glimpse. The first chapter, I wanted to introduce you to my counsel. At first, I thought there was one inner voice, the one that challenged me every day in every decision. But now I see that as a counsel, not one, but many voices in its own way. I have negative Nancy, always telling me what's wrong, worrisome Will, worrying about the next decision, overthinker Bob, overanalyzing anything and everything you could possibly imagine. But then I have positive Pam. I know I've got this. I know not all big decisions need to be made at once. And so I'm living a life where I'm going to take it one day at a time. 
Let's fast forward to chapter 18, where I have embraced essentialism for the mind, body, and soul. Whether it's my sleep rhythm, which I'm still working on, my balanced nutrition, intermittent fasting, exercise and walking. I try to get 5,000 steps every day to finding my meaning, purpose, and belonging. And I believe that this is the power that we all have to choose. So I am here trying to find my pursuit of happiness with what truly matters. And, and it wasn't like one day I woke up with stress and anxiety and the next day I hit essentialism. It was a journey over a year. And I am sharing that story in five parts in the book and then sharing my conclusion of pursuit of happiness. There are a few books, if I talk about bibliotherapy, that have absolutely changed my life. From Into the Magic Shop by Dr. James Doty to Thich Nhat Hanh's Mindfulness Books to Ichigo Ichi, Ikigai, Deep Work, Start With Why, The Alchemist, Untethered Soul, all of these 21 books, including Man's Search for Meaning, has found a new me and helped me discover myself. I also set myself forward to define what my personal OKRs are because I wanted to live life to the fullest every single day. And this was one moment at a time. And I'm truly privileged to share that I have been able to achieve my goals on this book. To wrap up, I just want to share this beautiful quote that I read. I love the feeling of loving you and how you feel is irrelevant. I love the feeling of loving you. Thank you so much for joining today and listening to this. I just want to say, have a beautiful day. Ichigo Ichi, beautiful souls. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.